The latest true crime TV hit, The Watcher. Eva Pilgrim has the story behind the number one show on Netflix right now. And Eva, it seems the appetite for true crime horror stories, yeah, it's higher than ever. Good morning. Good morning, Robin. This is the real life house at the center of the latest true crime hit show. There's crime scene tape up, as you can see, not because there's been a new crime here, but because so many people want to see where it really happened. 657 Boulevard is happy you're here. It's been years since young blood ruled the hallways of the house. It's the show viewers can't look away from. Netflix's The Watcher, starring Naomi Watts and Bobby Cannavale, based on the true story of a New Jersey family whose dream home purchase turned into a living nightmare. All of the windows and doors in 657 Boulevard allow me to watch you and track you as you move through the house. Who am I? I am The Watcher. And this morning, police tape lining the front steps of the house behind the hit show as fans flock to catch a glimpse of 657 Boulevard, the $1.4 million home Derek and Maria Broadus purchased in 2014 in the wealthy suburb of Westfield. But the idyllic tree-lined street came with a sinister secret. A watcher who sent the family letters threatening to harm them and their children, or what the culprit called young blood. Will the young blood play in the basement? The show featuring chilling excerpts from the anonymous notes. There are many ways in which the story diverts from real life. For one thing, the, the Broadus family never even moved into the home. The outlines of, of what happened are, are there. Despite a police investigation, private investigators and forensic analysts all looking into the case, the watcher was never found. Reeves Weidemann is the New York Magazine writer whose article is the basis of the new Netflix series. There was a DNA sample that was obtained from the envelope, and uh, the only thing that, that we, we know um, is that that DNA belonged to a woman. Some questioned if the family planted the letters to get out of the real estate deal. Those allegations were unsubstantiated, and they struggled for years to sell the home, ultimately taking a $400,000 hit the Broadus family later selling the life rights to Netflix. But they didn't make money when you factor in everything, the loss of the home sale and all the money they spent. Um, it, it wasn't a case where they, they made out great with this. As for what happened here, Reeves says he has gotten some fresh tips since the show was released. We did reach out to the Broadus family. They declined to comment, but they do still live here in the Westfield area. And we've been told they have no plans to watch the show. The trailer was apparently terrifying enough, guys. <laughs> you could say that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Eva. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.